Tschüss. With the 2022 through 2023 school year came plenty of new faces at Belton High School. Andrea Gregg and Madison Ruffin bring us insight into our new leadership, our principal Mr. Allen and our academy's director Mr. Sizemore. Mr. Allen, the new BHS principal, gives insight into his changes. Um, what made me want to come to Belton was the opportunity to uh, experience education differently. So I've been in urban education for 26 years and I wanted to have a different educational experience and so, so far I've enjoyed the different experiences that I've had. Um, I've been able to go to support the Future Farmers of America. That was a fantastic experience. Um, just being here with uh, our students every day and understanding and learning the culture and climate of Belton has been a great experience so far. So um, I'm excited about it. Um, students, kids are kids, right? So students, uh, they, they, there may be some demographic differences, there may be some cultural differences, but students are still students. We have some of the same challenges here that we had there, and um, uh, so I, t I will tell you the biggest difference that I've experienced is that there's clear hallways. So the rules that we have in place are designed to help our students increase their in-class um, educational minutes, and also just to help our culture and climate. So when you talk about kids being in the hallways and not being where they're supposed to be, they're missing instruction time, and it's impacting our culture and climate in terms of does it feel safe in here, does it feel welcoming in the environment, uh, are students in the classroom learning? And so, you know, the rules may feel like they're strict, but they're actually, most of the rules are actually rules that we already had in place. We're just kind of enforcing them a little bit more so, so that we can have a better educational experience here in school. Um, I said it during the pep assembly and I'll say it again. Contrary to what you may believe, I am a fun person. I, I love having fun. Um, I think we're going to have some great experiences here at the school. We're not going to take away any of our experiences that we've had over the past few years. Uh, in fact, if there's things that we haven't done, we may look at trying to uh, add them back into our culture so that we can continue to have fun. I just ask us to take care of business and so far uh, students have been responding tremendously uh, with that. Um, kids are going to class and teachers are able to teach and we're having a good time so um, so yeah I'm not as bad as you may think. Mr. Alito discusses why he likes to work as an assistant principal at the high school. I think the thing that I like most about working at the high school is, uh, for one, I was able to reconnect with some of the students that I taught at the middle school. Um, but additionally, one of the greatest parts about it is that high school students are more adult-like. Um, and so you get to connect on a more personal level. Instead of having to be more of the parent, you can be kind of the person in, the, in their ring uh, or in the corner of the ring. You can you know, be more of a mentor, and they, they have a better way of understanding your point of view and what you're trying to do as opposed to a younger student. Um, I think more than anything, what I hope to accomplish as an assistant principal or as an administrator here is just helping students get uh, on the right path or keep them on the right path, um, give them a chance to grow into the adults, I think, uh, that they can be. One of the great things about the academies is really pushing students towards what they want to do in life and a lot of times when I was growing up I would talk to people and they didn't know where they wanted to go in life so I think a good part of what we do here is give kids that glimpse into what their futures can hold and so if I can do that I'm more than happy. New director of academies Scott Sizemore shares about his plans for the academies of Belton. Uh, well, I hope to uh, build on the really great work that's already been done on the Academies of Belton and um, create more options for students to explore their career passions and um, be able to find successful paths in life. Yeah, I'm, I'm super excited to be back in Belton. So I live here and my um, kids go to school here and I actually started teaching here. So I've taught nine years in the Belton district, so I'm really excited to be back. With Andrea Gregg, I'm Madison Ruffin with Cutlass TV News. Last week, Belton High School's company theater class put on their fall improv show. With more on the story, here's Kayla Morrison and Connor Sizemore. Last Wednesday, Miss Babcock's company class had their fall improv show in the PAC. 
Now, without any further ado, I'll leave the improvising to the actors. My favorite improv game is probably podcast, where there's five people and there's two hosts and two guests and then a soundboard person where you act like it's a real podcast and they're trying to sell you something. So we decide who plays what improv game based on chemistry amongst the other actors and or uh, who, like, we all have all together games and then we also divide it up evenly amongst all the other students. Uh, what goes into my improv performance is a lot of creativity and fun. I think that having fun is the most important part of improv. Companies help us prepare for the show uh, because we rehearsed a bunch of the games uh, in class and we just learned a bunch of new stuff, went over the same rules, stuff like that. Okay, so I decided on this outfit, I just grabbed a bunch of random patterns from my closet and then I just put them on my body and then I just put a bunch of colors on my face. I think we dress funny to match the style of acting and because most of the time improv is funny. Um, my favorite improv game is probably Evil Twin and basically what that is is uh, you have two good twins and two evil twins, and the evil twins can tag out the good twins at whatever point in the scene, and they get to do something mischievous, and then the good twin has to justify what the evil twin just did. This fall, we are doing Hello Dolly, which is our um, fall musical, and we are also going to be doing our student-directed one-ups, and uh, the student plays. With Caitlin Morrison, I'm Connor Sizemore, and you're watching Cutlass TV News. Kicking off the year with home openers for fall sports, here's Jaden Williamson and Michaela Kiefer. We asked senior quarterback Ethan Ninker how it was playing his last home opener football game. Um, it was good. Like, there's a lot of energy. First game, you know, everyone's going to be there. Uh, a good, a good game. You know, it was kind of a lot of running, but hey, we showed up and it was great. We asked senior Avery Kasky what she is looking forward to for the rest of the season. I'm definitely looking forward to accomplishing many of the goals that our team has been striving for these past four years. Especially since I'm a senior, I'm definitely striving to get, you know, to stay. Or we have a really good volleyball team this season and I'm really excited for what we can do. We asked defender Gus Meterhoff what he's excited for going into his junior season. I'm mostly looking forward to this season is winning districts and winning conference four years in a row and then getting to know my teammates a lot better and getting close and combining in games. From Michaela Kiefer, I'm Jaden Williamson and you're watching Cutlass TV News. The morning faces at Belton High School in the teaching department. Here's Tyler Fulton, Jeffrey Jones, and Nick Pettit. We interviewed new English teacher Mrs. Tori Swanson. She discusses why she chose BHS and what her goal is for teaching this school year. Yeah, so my mother-in-law has taught at Grace for about 20 years now, and I have heard for years now how awesome Belton is and how it's an amazing school district. And so when my husband and I moved here over the summer, I knew this is where I wanted to be. As an English teacher, it is my number one goal to instill a love of reading and love for literature in all of my students. This year's math teacher, Mrs. Gina Prowl, has retired and then rejoined the BHS. And we asked her about why she returned to BHS and what her hope is for the school year. Um, well, toward the end of the summer, it sounded like there was a position that didn't fill. So I'm actually unretired this year, came back to help. Um, under something called a critical shortage exemption in the state. Um, you know, to get to know my students and to help them grow as learners of mathematics and um, own their journey as learners. I'm Jeffrey Jones with Tyler Fulton and Nick Pettit, and you're watching Cutlass TV News. What is your favorite thing about Friday Night Live? Definitely being banned and having all the energy around. Alright, thank you. What is your favorite thing about Friday Night Lights? Um, my favorite part is probably being in the student section and the atmosphere, and it just brings us all closer together. Your part of Friday Night Lights? Uh, it's most definitely an experience watching the community come out and support our high school football games. Uh, and it's really it's a great feeling. You know, nothing like it. What is your favorite thing about Friday Night Lights? Uh, I like hanging out with friends at the football game, and the crowd is crazy. 
Throughout Friday nights, um, probably playing football and then like just that atmosphere overall. What is your favorite part about Friday Night Lights? I think my favorite part is going out and watching all my fellow seniors compete to hopefully do good this year in football. What's your favorite part about Friday Night Lights? Uh, just being able to play with my teammates, my friends, watching everybody. Thanks for watching. Tune in next time. And as always, Carpe, Carpe Diem. Diem.